everyone and welcome back to Leilani Estates update for June 19th, 2018. As a custom, the first thing we're going to talk about tonight is Fissure 8, the channel ice flow, and uh, the ocean entry. So let's get to it. The USGS reports for June 19th, 2018 at 4.23 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, the fissure 8 continues to feed lava into the well-established channel that flows to the ocean at Kapaho. Small overflows were observed on the north side of the channel near Pohoiki Road overnight and this morning, but stalled in the afternoon. Another small sluggish overflow along a section of Luana Street is advancing northwest. Fissure 6, 15, 16 are oozing lava and fume. The size and shape of the flow field is virtually unchanged since the morning of June, uh, excuse me, since the morning of Monday, June 18th, with the exception of the additional 28 acres, mostly at the southwest margin of the flow in the coastal area. Volcanic gas emissions remain very high from Fissure 8 eruptions. Winds are expected to bring fog to the central, south, and western parts of the island of Hawaii. Magma continues to be supplied to the lower east rift zone. Seismicity remains relatively low in the area with numerous small magnitude earthquakes and low amplitude background tremor. High amplitude tremor is occasionally being recorded on seismic stations close to the ocean entry. Up at the summit at 5.05 a.m. there was a subsurface explosion and was followed by four hours of low seismicity, less than 10 events per hour. Seismicity gradually increased thereafter, reaching 30 to 35 events per hour by 10 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. If the pattern of the past several days hold, another subsurface explosion is likely within the next few hours. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'uma'u uh, continues in response to ongoing subs subs yeah, subsidence at the summit. Sulfur dioxide emissions from the volcano summit have dropped to levels that are about half those measured prior to the onset of the current episode of eruptive activity. This gas and minor amounts of ash are being transported down with, with small bursts of ash and gas accompanying intermittent explosive activity. The EPA air monitoring sensor on Kapono uh, at 9.25 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time was reading zero parts per million for sulfur dioxide and zero parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. Well, that wraps up uh, the uh, update for the volcanic activity report. Um, now I want to take a moment just to share a little something with y'all that uh, I've discovered today that's become a, a new problem for us residents still here in, in Leilani. Um, we are now having problems with uh, some companies, uh, maintenance companies, service companies. Uh, you know, just I, I can't really pinpoint any particular one, nor would I. But uh, the the problem that we're having is that they don't want to come in and uh, service anything that we need to be servicing. You know, like uh, you know, our water pumps or um, our refrigerators or stoves or freezers or lawn care maintenance um but not all these companies are doing this i mean it's just some and you know and i get it uh you know maybe their employees are scared or, or unsure what conditions are like in here because you know a lot of them aren't allowed in so they they don't have any idea uh what it's actually like and and you know in, in the different areas and you know all of upper leilani or the upper half anyway is not the same there are you know areas of uh of uh, the lower Lilani, you know, um, well, when I say lower, I mean lower from, from us at the very top, uh, that uh, some days are very good and, and other days are really horrible. Um, it is mostly just the, the, the top fourth, I think, of uh, the subdivision that actually seems to be in the best shape compared to, you know, everyone else regardless. But anyways, um, I just want to share that with you, that, that new little problem that's recently surfaced. Uh, I mean, right now, the, the power companies won't even come in and read meters. So if, if we want to be able to pay our bill, we, we have to either read the meter and call them with the results or send, or take a picture and email it to them. If not, when uh, everything settles down, they'll come in and read the meter, subtract it from the last reading they have, and uh, charge us for um, the difference. Which, you know, so if you don't keep up on it on yourself, you know, or keep up on it, you know, 
yourself, then you're going to end up with a very large electric bill to pay depending on how long this goes on. I mean, so it's already been going on for a month and a uh, month and what? few weeks now so we're almost two electric bills behind in billing uh however you know i i do send them the, my average bill amount every month regardless so at least that way in the end either one or two things will happen either one uh i'll owe them a, a little tiny bit of money or they'll, they'll owe me a little tiny bit of money so it just goes to show that things times like this you you have to be more proactive and and take care of things yourself and you know because we do take for granted that uh, a lot of things in our life, you know, when it comes to, you know, paying bills and stuff kind of happen all automatically now. Uh, you know, we don't have to go out and, you know, read our meters. You know, the electric company does that for us and we just get a bill and, you know, you know, ta-da, it's taken care of or, you know, the phone company or whatever. But one, speaking of phone company, one thing I can say, though, is the, uh, the local phone company here, uh, Hawaii Telecom, has basically uh, zeroed out uh, all Leilani accounts, uh, even if if you're still here. Uh, so they're they're giving free service uh, to to those customers, you know, um, which I think is great because you know they could still be sending out bills to to a lot of people, but uh, they they decided they're just not going to bill you know anything uh, in Leilani, and they're not going to you know uh, back bill you for it either, you know, which is, is fantastic. Hey, right, well, I guess that wraps this up for tonight. I uh, appreciate everybody hanging around, listening to me talk. Um, I enjoy your comments and, and things that y'all have to say in response to these videos. So uh, let me take a moment to remind you to uh, do the uh, the share, the like, the subscribe, and, and the comment thing. Also remember all the images I show you, my still pictures, are available on my doinghawaii.smugmug.com account link is in the description and if you want to share any of your photos with me you can do so on twitter uh you can find me at doing hawaii just like my youtube name this has been the leilani estates update for june 19th 2018